Hello everyone. This is Deepshika and welcome to my channel The Blissful Diary. Here I talk about my plants and my home. In today's video, I will share with you how I have created an easy yet beautiful miniature garden for my home. Last year, I did a similar DIY where I created an easy peasy miniature garden with some plants and some mini decor ornaments. I have the video on my channel and I will share the link in the description box below. This time, rather than using plants, I'll be using plant cuttings and let the cuttings grow in the miniature garden itself. I am taking cuttings from different indoor plants that I have. It's not necessary for you to take the same cuttings. Go for whatever you have at home. Rather than buying new plants, use the cuttings from your existing plants. That will be wise and cost effective too. Try not to spend extra bucks for this kind of projects because such miniature gardens are not permanent. They stay in good shape for 6 to 8 months and once the plants start outgrowing the pot, you definitely have to give individual pots for each plant. Creating such a DIY miniature garden is extremely easy. Just make sure that the plants you are choosing have the same requirements. Meaning, if you are taking succulents, then all the plants or cuttings should be succulents. Here, for my DIY project, I have taken cuttings from pothos, spider plant and coleus. All these plants are shade loving, moisture loving and have similar water needs. Having plants of similar requirements together makes the watering and maintenance extremely easy. For my miniature garden, I am using the same soil mixture that I use for all my house plants. A part of garden soil mixed with a part of cocoa peat and a part of compost. I will water the soil thoroughly until the water drips down from the drainage hole. Once all the water drains out and the soil is settled, I am starting to decorate my garden. How I decorate my miniature garden could be completely different from how you would love to decorate yours. This is the reason why such DIY projects are fun. We have ample options to play around with. If you have never tried making such a miniature garden, I would suggest you should give it a try. Such activities are therapeutic and if you have kids at home, you must must involve them as well in such activities. When I do such activity, I don't really go according to any predefined plan or follow any layout. My funda is simple. If I succeed, I'll be happy. If I fail, I fail. Good deal. I can always start fresh after every failure. 
let's not make everything so serious and well planned let's not complicate the already complicated life right by the way apart from plant cuttings i am using some pebbles and some ice cream sticks for this project that's it Last but not the least, I'm placing a stone Buddha idol at the center. I think the arrangement is looking extremely beautiful. What do you think? Do let me know in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like and share the video with others. And yes, do subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. I was never the one to write up a song for both if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. So mistaken Cause you Glue all the pieces Back together Yeah you You take all my wrongs And make them better Yeah you You're making me Wanna try forever And I feel so free I'm a sweet baby Thank you so much For watching till then